My name is Commander Melinda Kendrick. Uh, my hometown is Springfield, Missouri, and I'm stationed here with Operational Hospital Support Unit Camp Lejeune. I'm currently working at Woodhull Hospital, which is in Brooklyn, in the intensive care unit. I'm a family nurse practitioner. I work with a team of Navy providers, and we are um, working in the intensive care unit, taking care of patients, and all of them are on ventilators. Um, my hours are, I work 12-hour shifts, three days on and three days off. The hospital staff has been working nonstop for, for weeks. One example is a physician told us that in the last six weeks he got one day off and because our team was there that he was able to take two days off. Since most of our patients are on ventilators, it's very exciting whenever we are able to um, extubate them. That means take them off the ventilator. And yesterday, we had a gentleman who we were able to do that with and anticipate that he will recover and be discharged in the next couple of days. Uh, working at the hospital, one of the things that I was really moved by is the support from the community, um, the restaurants, and through donations, um, they provide free meals for the healthcare workers, and that was such a blessing to not have to worry about when you were going to eat again, and just to see the support from the community with the health for the healthcare workers. I wanted to explain what the role is that the military is playing in this uh, COVID-19 crisis here in New York City. One of the one of the things is we have the Navy hospital ship, the Comfort, um, but also we've turned. Uh, Javits uh, Center into a 2,500 bed hospital. Um, also, there's a, a large group of us, approximately 300, that are divided out amongst the 11 hospitals here in New York City to help give the healthcare workers some relief um, and get, allow them to get a break. Prior to coming to New York City, when I was watching the news and um, seeing the the, the devastation, the crisis that was going on due to the COVID-19 virus, I was um, heartbroken and saddened by the amount of sickness and, and deaths and seeing the healthcare workers who uh, were working so hard. Um, I was actually uh, excited and relieved when I got the call from the military to come here and be able to help uh, relieve some of the burden that the healthcare workers are under um, taking care of the patients. Um, my goal is that we as the military can be here as long as it takes to help um, reopen New York City and um, save as many lives as we can. I would like to thank all my family and friends from Missouri who um, have reached out to me through social media and sending cards and packages and um, thank you so much for your support.